Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all on this Saturday morning. It's Saturday. It's the weekend. It's a blessing that we made it to another weekend. It's a blessing that we woke up this morning. And it's also a blessing that we got to see another day. Today, today is another opportunity for you to create your own reality. Also know that some of you out there watching this video don't even have to clock into your 9 to 5 today. You're off work today. And I know you still got stuff that you got to do. You probably have like another job that you do on the side. But I but I also, I also know that there's some of you out there that have like dreams and goals that you really want to pursue. I know you be having a lot on the plate, but make sure that you have time available to work on your dreams and goals every day, especially if you don't really have nothing planned to do today. But anyway, I got a, this is another hip hop video. I got a question for y'all. Now, when it comes down to these wordsmiths, like all three of these wordsmiths had dropped a new album yesterday, but both of them, two of them had did a collab album. They did another collab album called Tape Street, and their collab album is fire. Like I said before, in my opinion, I honestly feel that their collab album, Tape Street, is better than the the other artist's album that he dropped. But the other artist's album that, that had dropped is dope, too. I just got a question for y'all. I got a question for y'all. Yeah, I, I just got a, another hip hop question. What would it sound like if Lupe Fiasco was to hop on a track with Joel Ortiz and King Cricket? My fellow Joel Ortiz fans, my fellow King Cricket fans, my fellow Lupe Fiasco fans, let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage with me, drop me a comment in the comment section. But when it comes down to these three wordsmiths, do you feel that it'll be pretty dope if Lupe Fiasco was to hop on a track with Joel Ortiz and King Cricket? Let's have a discussion about this. I'm going to give you my answer like I do as always. I mean, besides the beef that Lupe Fiasco had with Royce the 5'9", and, and that's another thing about it, too. Royce the 5'9 was talking about saying that Joel Ortiz and King Cricket didn't really, like, come and help him in the rap beef. I mean, I understand Joel Ortiz and King Cricket. They, they, they like Royce the 5'9's group mates. And I remember... There, there's a song that there's a song that Joel Ortiz and King Cricket did on on the album The Rise and Fall of Slaughterhouse, where I think in one of the verses, King Cricket was talking about saying that he had like some diss tracks for Lupe Fiasco. But other than that, at the end of the day. That was between Lupe Fiasco and Royce the 5'9". Joel Ortiz and King Cricket didn't really have nothing to do with that beef. That was between Lupe Fiasco and Royce, which, like I said, I always knew. I always knew that Lupe Fiasco was better than Royce the 5'9". I always knew, and, and, and like I said... Eminem, Eminem and Lupe Fiasco, they're both in my top five. But like I said, Lupe Fiasco is better than Eminem too. But yeah, I, I feel like if Lupe Fiasco was to hop on a track with Joel Ortiz and King Cricket, I feel that they could make something amazing. I feel that Joel Ortiz, King Cricket, and Lupe Fiasco, I honestly feel that they would definitely make a masterpiece. I honestly feel that they would definitely make something phenomenal. I feel that they could make like a great song together. I mean, who knows? Maybe they could form like a little group. I mean, I mean, Lupe Fiasco, he he wanted to be the replacement for Joe Budden and Slaughterhouse. But I, I, I would say j just Joel Ortiz, King Cricket and Lupe Fiasco, like not Royce the 5'9", because it seems like Lupe Fiasco and Royce the 5'9", it seems like they still didn't squash their beef as of yet, but... Yeah, I feel that 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 Joel Ortiz, King Cricket and Lupe Fiasco, I feel that they would definitely make a track where it's like all three of them are trying to out rap each other. 
all three of them are trying to see who can have the better verse on a track. But yeah, like Lupe Fiasco, his Samurai album is sounding dope. And Joel Ortiz and King Cricket, their collab album, Tapestry, is sounding phenomenal. Yo, yeah, Lupe Fiasco, I, I, I rated his album a 9 out of 10, and Joel Ortiz and King Cricket, I rated their collab album Tape Stream a 10 out of 10, a 100%, but yeah, my, my fellow Joel Ortiz fans, my fellow King Cricket fans, my fellow Lupe Fiasco fans, my fellow Slaughterhouse fans, let's have a discussion about this. Do y'all feel that it'll be dope if Joel Ortiz, King Cricket, and Lupe Fiasco were to do a song together? Let's have a discussion about this. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video, and again, my new song, I Refuse, it's on my YouTube channel, and it's also on my SoundCloud, you can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G, let's run it up, let's blow it up, love y'all.